So Aries, let's see what's coming your way and it better be good. It better be good. So let's see. We do have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And the Six of Cups. I know. And you no longer have to wait. We do have the Three of Wands and the Hierophant. <laughs> and Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups. Reunion, love, sexy messages, you name it. Um, you might be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And guess what? You know. Um, you know you are their soulmate. Um... And they know you are theirs, right? So there is no confusion there. Three of Wands, unexpected commitment. The Hierophant. Eight of Wands, quick shift in movement. And the Three of Cups, reunion. So it looks like it might be someone from the past. Or someone who is uh, actually will bring your way a lot of happiness, a lot of changes. Good changes and stability through changes with the Hierophant. But it does look like unexpected commitment. So let's see recent uh, past. We do have the Three of Swords in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse, Eight of Wands in reverse. Oh boy, we are coming out of something extremely difficult. And the Lovers in reverse. I'm going to take it <clears throat> because we uh, want to clarify. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So it looks like a reconciliation Aries, right? We had a tough moment with this person. Three of Swords, Seven of Wands, it's a lot of defensiveness and conflict. Knight of Swords, a lot of harsh uh, speaking, uh, uh, impulsiveness. So somebody might have acted, um, you know, very, um, you know, um, I would say harsh and conflictual and uh, making this connection go all over the place, uh, falling out of a commitment, actually blocking commitment. Questioning love, we do have the lovers in reverse, making strange choices about love. And boy, one was working and one was messing the connection up, right? I don't feel it was because they were not loving, but it, it has this energy of somebody being tormented or in a moment of um, a rush moment. Um, <laughs> Honestly, it looks like a psychosis, but I'm sorry, it's not at all what I'm... Um, in a sense that there's so much anger, so much for, so much for frustration and impulsiveness and and doing things on the spot and you got hurt they got hurt with the three of swords the lovers disconnected and even somebody had to you know um rush to a safety place seven of wands is well this is my space so um you know i need um you know quiet and um, and security and safety and uh, it's the same, but somebody matured, right? We, um, you know, we had the uh, the Knight of Swords. And uh, the overall energy is the King of Swords. So somebody matured, thought about it, you know, um, kind of integrated the lessons, wants to make things right by you in terms of commitment. But boy, you'll have to be cautious, Aries. Where are we right now? Nine of Wands, definitely hurt by this. Absolutely hurt by this. Uh, stressed nine of swords queen of swords in reverse they might be at a distance right and the knight of wands this is you showing up upside down page of cups queen of swords again in reverse they might be at a distance six of pentacles and the two of wands so where where are we right now seeing that it's a connection that we had such a um, I feel that we have trouble turning our back to this person, even if they are away. Queen of Swords a couple of times, but at least we start having some peace of mind, are we, um, Aries? Nine of Swords in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse, right? We are a little bit emotional there, probably not communicating with this person and uh, a little bit hurt. I do love the Nine of Swords. It, it has the perseverance energy in a sense that you keep going no matter what. So it's kind of reassuring. And I love the Six of Pentacles. This is the energy of um, balance, fairness, justice. And I feel it's with yourself. And um, if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, the Six of Pentacles is kind of saying, you know, you you are kind to this situation, you know. And being kind after all that harsh energy, um, you know, it's, it's a plus. You are on a spiritual path, right? We know how to deal with this. And we have your King of Wands in reverse upside down by the Two of Wands in reverse, right? We cannot just turn the page on this one. 
So um, let's have the possible outcome. Let's see what we need to know here, Aries. Knight of Wands in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Justice in reverse. Libra. Ace of Swords in reverse. The Devil. Upright, of course, right? The Moon in reverse. Pisces energy. Four of Cups in reverse. And the Judgment. Well, 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 well. Um... I would so pay attention to this energy Aries you might be surrounded by people um, you know uh, jealous or uh, rushing into things or um, I hope it's not violent right but uh, you know all these swords and um, you know and it has this energy of either impulsive and rushing in either completely silent but we we do have the devil with the knight of wands in reverse right and we know knight of wands is a little bit of a player it's a little bit of a disappointing energy and right on the devil we know it's also about lust so you know i would pay attention to, to this dynamic with this person we also have queen of pentacles the moon in reverse I would pay attention to revelations in, in terms of energies coming your way. I would uh, pay attention to the type of communication, the stability of this connection. Because there is no doubt here, Aries, with the overall energy, that somebody is rushing in for commitment and reconciliation. Mm -hmm. The overall energy is all about wanting reconciliation. But then the outcome of this, right, is mm -hmm. with a judgment, the universe saying, well, first of all, this is your judgment. Um, you know, and it's kind of, um, you know, you needing to have your, um, you know, your um, ducks in a, in a row, right? Because this connection is absolutely justice in reverse, not balanced, you know. Ace of Swords in reverse. I mean, they go silent and then they move, uh, you know, they rush in and then they go silent again. So I kind of feel the universe with the energies we received today. I kind of feel for someone out there, Aries. Um, again, it's a lot of swords energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I kind of feel that the universe uh, is saying, use our better judgment. This is um, this is a little bit out of balance and we need to stay at peace. I mean, we need to be safe. We need to have good conversations with, um, you know, the other half, the better half, the however we call them, our soulmate, our lover. Um, right? We need to have good dynamics. And I kind of feel... That somebody wants back the overall energy is all about communicate uh, commitment and communication but um, the whole energies here are uh, warning you right so let's look into the um, guidance from the universe what we need to know what's important so Aries receive with love and appreciation gracious acceptance is a way to show love so you tell me uh, what you need to receive with love and appreciation we do have abundance so this is the energy of you being guided to focus on your abundance this is all 3d right this is all uh, assets and and uh, uh, things that um, you need to have around you or to surround yourself with um, and I feel abundance is coming right receive the abundance that is coming your way and resolving conflict Right? We need to be at peace and um, open channels of reconciliation, communication, and spiritual maturity. I know, right? So the universe is asking us again to be the bigger person um, and resolve conflict with this person from a place of maturity, from a place of, um, you know, knowing exactly who you are and, um, and doing your best, right? And we have, I love you. These are powerful words. Aries, the energy is all over the place, let me tell you, all over the place. We might be confused or this person is, but somebody, you know, it's all about, um, I'm sorry I hurt you, but I love you, right? So, all over the place, all over the place, but the outcome is the judgment, right? It's the energy of reconciliation, best decisions, final decisions, and that is love, but that is also hustle. Um, energies we need to put back into the flow we have happiness i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path we also have guilt 
I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. And love again. Oh, that is definitely love. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things and patience. So when it comes to this person, and it does look like someone from the past, we have so many energies of reconciliation. Happiness, release guilt, love, patience, and bottom of the deck, surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. I feel you are guided back to this person, but please be safe. Um, please be safe. There's no doubt they want commitment here. Um, so Aries, you know I love you. Mm -hmm. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come to me next time. Love you. Take care.